Midday Kentucky Cooking Segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Hey everyone, welcome back to Midday Kentucky over here at Creative Kitchen and Bath with my girlfriend, Miss Chef Alison Davis. How are you? I'm great. Are you going to renovate your kitchen at home soon? Um, we are. You're pulling my hair. <laughs> oh, I'm pulling your hair. <laughs> I'm like, well, I can't move my hair. <laughs> well, this is the place to come. If you need to renovate your kitchen or your bathroom, summer is the time to do it, I reckon. I think so. Don't you? Yeah. Like, why do you need to do it all in the winter when no. workmen are schlepping through the house with yeah. mud on their feet? Yeah. You need it to, to be summer. Yeah, and then you can spend more time outdoors and you're yeah. not in with all the dust Perfect. and all that good Give stuff. them a call over here at Creative Kitchen and Bath. Um, Miss Allison, we what have are we making? olive oil. That's all I see. I know, that's what you and see. And a big piece of fish. We have some salmon. Um, have you put uh, it together yet? I have to say something. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a surprise? I can't cope with cooking fish in the house. Oh, that is something you've said before that bothers oh, you. I did well, it in the summer, it might even be a better time because you can open up the windows. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We are going to be doing, this is one of my favorite ways actually to cook salmon or cod, um, any kind of flaky fish. Yep. Um, if you are intimidated with cooking fish, yes. this is a um, surefire way, I think, to do it and not get it overcooked or have it too hot. What we are going to do is we are going to poach the salmon in the olive oil. And so it's just going to sit and kind of cook in the olive oil, and then you'll remove it. It gives it a fantastic texture. It cooks it. It really just... Um, is, is a wonderful way of cooking fish. Um, we're, we do this sometimes in our weekly meals, but we're going to um, kind of infuse a little garlic into our yep. olive oil. So I'm just throwing a few little garlic cloves. Yep. And that's going to just bring that garlic flavor into the oil. Can I eat the garlic the, when you finish with You that? could. Yeah, you certainly no, could. I'm, I'm, that's the question. I will be eating the garlic. You could do any combination. <laughs> you could do any combination you like. Um, dill would be really great. Oh. I'm going to throw in some sage. I love sage. And so we're just going to kind of throw that in there. Now, by adding these, I can see kind of that our oil is starting to get and to a flavor. poached temperature. Poaching temperature for our olive oil is low. Oh, is it? Yeah, you don't want it frying. You don't want it deep frying or anything like that. You want it low. You want it at about 120 degrees. So I think we're there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lay our fish down in that olive oil Why and just that let way? it sit. Well, I'm more concerned about the fish part versus the skin, but we can flip it over halfway through. Yeah. And we're just going to let it sit, and it's just going to cook. It's going to poach in that. We've got it on the lowest setting. Can I ask you? And it just sits and cooks and is phenomenal. Darling, won't that be quite oily? It's really not. I mean, the fish itself is naturally oily, oily. with salmon, but it, it just is cooking it. It's poaching. I mean, it's going to have a good texture, but it's not going to just soak up all that That's oil. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's not going to do that. Yeah. No, it's just cooking in the oil. Okay. All right, and so you could do so many different combinations with this. Lemon, rosemary. I love citrus. You don't want to add your citrus into the oil because, you know, oil and liquid, oil and water, they don't mix, right? So that like would cause us. it to pop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the oil, I'm the water. <laughs> yeah, Are you salty. saying I'm slippery? <laughs> I don't know. A little, 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 little no. Little, don't you say <laughs> slimy. <laughs> you were about to say slimy. No, no, I love you. <laughs> um, so we're going to just uh, like turn this over and honestly, Already? yeah, That's it cooked. doesn't take that long at all. And we're just going to continue to let that poach and let that Why just cook. Why do I cook. feel concerned about this? I don't know. This is just, I'm telling you, when you try it, you're going to be sold. Um, but yeah, just letting it sit, slow poach. Again, the poaching temperature we're looking for is no more than 120 degrees. If you yeah. have a thermometer, you can kind of check it to keep it around that. But I don't think I'm really that just by small little bubbles, that's all you want. And then we'll pull this out. And then if you wanted, we could throw some citrus. I'm going to throw a couple orange slices on there, garnish with a little bit of parsley. Um, and that's it. Yeah. What do we eat super, it with, Super, super simple. Yep. Vegetables. Okay. Rice. You know, anything. This is just the way that I would cook the meat. Yeah. All right. You're going to be sold. This is the first. You're going to be sold. This I'm is the first. You. I'm letting you do it, my friend. If you want to find out about this recipe, about, 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 about. Thank you. You want to be about, about, about. Elmer <laughs> Fun. <laughs> if you want to find out about this recipe and many more, Head over to WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. It'll all be there. Or you can check out Miss Allison oh. Davis on Instagram at... Uh, Chef Allison Davis. That's it. Yeah. You sure that's it? Yeah, that's it. That's good. Back after this short break, everyone. <laughs>